Welcome Libra, I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle card reading for the week of March the 23rd to the 30th, 2020. I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and most of all, subscribing. Please, if you're new to me, ring that bell button next to subscribe and then you'll get notified immediately when any of your favorite readers or YouTube creators are out here for you to view. As you know, this is strictly a general reading and every card and all the energy will not be just for you or maybe not for all of you. But know that some of it, you can take what you want from it, some of it will resonate. Uh, if you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I invite you and welcome you to click the little icon in the top right hand corner of this video. And it will take you directly to my website where you can see the services that I offer. All the other information is in the box below. A simple email to me can start this process moving forward. Today we're doing the Celtic cross spread again and I am working with the four Lennermen. The base layer is Angel Tarot, the overlay top layer is the traditional tarot. I'm working with the three tea leaf cards, what you need to surrender to, and I've decided to use the, the, daily, uh, the daily messages from the angels and the healing deck Archangel Raphael. In conclusion, I will be reaching one card here, taking one card here, sent to be my, my guides and spirit to conclude this reading. This is the all over crowning energy in your reading right now, the energy coming in below you, above you, behind you, and of course towards you. We start off with the Five of Cups and this is telling me that you know everything happens for a reason. I don't want you to uh, cry over spilt milk. I want you to get up and lift your head and realize that yes the, the dust is going to settle. We may be in trying times right now but there's still cups to look forward to filling and they will be there when this is over. I want you to release any regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness to come into you. Sometimes endings bring new beginnings and sometimes we have to walk away from situations in order to grow and expand and to be able to move ahead again in a brand new direction. I want you to search for that silver lining. You will be able to see clarity soon and to be able to move forward and know that things will still be able to go on. Coming in below you, you've been given the Ten of Wands, and the Ten of Wands talks about pushing yourself very hard. Uh, you know, um, you know, you need to ask for some help to lighten your 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 workload here. Don't ever be afraid to ask for help. Okay, listen, listen, and lighten your load by doing this. You may be working too many hours. You may be pushing yourself too hard to get something accomplished. You may have taken too much on or bitten off more than you can chew. This is also you trying to please everybody. You know, we can't please everyone at all, everybody all at the same time or all people at all times. So lighten your load, my beautiful uh, friends, and ask for help. Okay, it's there. All you have to do is ask for help or allocate some of it uh, to others. Coming in above you, you're going to be cooperating. This is the three of Ariel, the three of, of Pentacles. And this shows me that you are communicating with others. Um, you're, you know, this is for your growth. You're cooperating. You're working with groups. Or maybe you're getting involved, uh, you know, uh, through friendships. <clears throat> anyway, I do see that you're going to be creative with your expression to make something work in your favor that you care about and you like doing. And you, and it's important that you do what you love. There's a time of great, this is a time of great, personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors at this time. So you know what, working with others in a cooperative manner is only going to benefit you. It's going to help you. Coming in behind you, you've got the Ace of Michael, the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is all about, you know, you believing in yourself and not doubting your motivations or intentions. I want you to be ready to leap into action and be objective about your limitations, okay? It could also have to do with, uh, you know, a new opportunity coming your way that may require more effort on your part. But you know what? Know that doors are going to open and new possibilities of, of success are going to come in. Don't allow, you know what? 
any bumps on the road, okay? There may be a problem that you have to resolve and life is never smooth, but now is the time to analyze the situation and get working on that, okay? So clear up any communication problems with others. That's what this is about, all right? Face the facts and never carry any bitterness, my beautiful friends. Now, coming in towards you, you're going to step up and take that control. This is the Empress. This is all about time, uh, you know, to act upon your plans. This is about you realizing that, you know, you're going to stand in your power and you're going to move towards something that you want to do. You're very creative. <clears throat> and this is uh, all about you being rewarded for your creativity. There are things that you love. You love luxuries in life and you like uh, to see things uh, very beautiful. And I do see that, you know, you're going to have the resources coming into you to bring this abundance towards you. The Empress steps up. She does what she wants. She's a dreamer, but she makes sure that everything gets done and she has the power to do that. She has that beautiful power to make this happen. Coming in with your first Lennerman message, you've been given the woman and she, it looks like this because I've told you before, she's trustworthy, she's open like a book and you can ask her anything, she doesn't sugarcoat anything, okay? She will give you the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help her God. Um, if you have this woman in your in your company, she could be somebody you work for, she could be somebody you rent, uh, you look up to, uh, she could be somebody in, author in an authoritative position position. She could be working with the law. She could be a lawyer. Uh, she could be a doctor. Um, she could be somebody dignified and, and uh, or a dignitary of some sort. Uh, she's powerful. You're lucky to have this person in your end of the ring. You can ask her anything. You've got the fox. Be careful of some energy coming in around you that perhaps could be sneaky. Okay. And, um, and if you look at her, she was looking towards this, okay? Looking towards cooperating with others in groups, but being careful. Uh, she may be bringing you a warning that somebody isn't being completely honest with you. Somebody might be sneaking around behind your back, <clears throat> saying, doing, or behaving in a way that isn't, you know, in your best interest. Be careful of, the, of, of sneaky energy coming in around you. Somebody might be wanting to take something from you, okay? I love this one. This is giving birth to your dreams. This could be twins coming into the family. This could be some uh, someone on a kindred spirit who who mirrors you. Could be a soulmate. Could be a twin flame. But it could also be somebody having giving birth to a child coming into the family circle. So <clears throat> there's many ways of reading this: giving birth to your dreams, or uh, you know, um, being able to conceive new ideas, or perhaps some of you are planning on having a new addition to your family. <clears throat> your final Lennerman card. Some of you may be reading more, you may be researching more, you may be writing a book, uh, you may be doing everything by the book. You may be journaling, blogging, keeping track of something. We've got lots of time to be doing that. Now coming in with your message, your daily message from the angels <clears throat> oracle deck, you have been given have confidence. And it says here, moving forward does not necessarily require you have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God is enough. Along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways, lean upon us if your confidence wavers and we will bring you courage and faith. So this card is a message from the divine saying you can do it. Trust that you have all the ingredients it takes to complete a mission. Okay. Trust it. Trust in the divine. All right. And you know, the mission that you, you're, you want to accomplish, although you may not completely understand how you'll fulfill that task, have faith that you'll be continually guided. The more you can depersonalize this mission and know that it's not about you, the better. Don't listen to the voice that asks, who me? You are utterly worthy. Since you're a perfect daughter and son, or son of the Creator and the angels surround you in every step of the way. So stay in the moment and focus on one step at a time. Give your worries and concerns to the Divine. Ask the Divine to increase your faith. Trust that you know, the Divine loves you and the wisdom and they're working through you. Okay? Bring it through you. Tap into your higher self. Don't lose your confidence. Stand in your power here. You're the Empress. You have that ability. Wow. Your message, your healing message is give us your care. So you're worrying about something, you know. Ask for help. 
more often from people as well as the angels. You know, you had that ten of wands, pushing yourself too hard, taking on more than you can handle, biting off more than you can chew, pushing yourself way too past your limit. Talk about your feelings with trusted individuals in addition to the angels. Practice relaxation methods such as a massage, meditation, nature walks, or yoga. Trust that every day is okay. You know what? Needless stress, you know, isn't good for your health. And the angels would like to help. Archangel Raphael is ready to receive and transmute any health-related fears. There are many ways to release fears to the angels, including writing a letter, speaking to the angels aloud, explaining your feelings to Raphael in your mind, and inhaling deeply, then exhaling your worries to God and the angels. Okay, so you know what? Your mantra and prayer should be, Dear God and Archangel Raphael, I am willing to release any fears to you. Please allow me to completely let go so that I can fully guide myself into this situation. Beautiful beautiful so you know what yes it's trying times right now isn't it Libra we all have concerns and worry and mainly about our well-being right our health and then we have to think about the economy and the stability and the structure about our jobs and our futures uh, but you know what we're gonna get through this and I do believe that you know we're leaning into our higher faith into our higher self uh, we're believing and manifesting that things will work and what we believe we become we make happen. So stand in your confidence, okay? Throw your worries and cares out into the universe and stay strong. What do you need to surrender to? Apparently you need to surrender to what is. Makes sense. Flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. So, you know, this is the card where I say you can't make anything happen or someone change or do something they're not ready to do. Okay. We have to accept what is, is. Right? And that's living in the moment. And that's where we are right now. All of us. We're all in the same boat in the same body of water floating around waiting for this to end. But we can't worry about it. We have to move forward and be optimistic. We have to lean on each other and support each other through this storm. And it's only by doing that that we are going to get through this successfully. Your tea leaf messages. You have been given the rose. Romance is in the air. So this could be you. You know, we talked about this here. It could be somebody in your family. Maybe you have someone in your family that's getting married, engaged, <clears throat> has got a new suitor, a new love, a new boyfriend, a new girlfriend, a new partner. Beautiful. Could be you. You've been given the pail and it says time to get out of a situation. So you know what? Maybe you need to get out of that situation of worrying so much in your head. Or if you're in a situation that isn't bringing you fulfillment, allowing you to grow and expand on your journey on this part of your path. Okay, so uh, don't, you know, don't cry over spilt milk. You're going to move on. Things will work, will work out. Look at the beetle. You're going to have good fortune. Things are going to work out. You're going to see the abundance and the fruition of your dreams coming true here. So just stand in your confidence. Stand in your power here. Okay, throw out any worry into the universe. Know that you can ask for help when things get tough right? You've got beautiful inspiration coming in here, cutting through the red tape, succeeding again. Justice is going to be served. The only thing you got to watch out for is this sneaky energy coming into you. Keep your eyes open, okay? Keep your eyes open. Well, <clears throat> let's see what you have to focus on, Libra. Let's see what you have to, whoops, 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 whoops. They're alive. Spirit, please give me the card that Libra needs to focus on this week. What does Libra need to focus on? Well, there you go. Apparently, <laughs> you need to really focus. Okay, so stop worrying so much, but focus on the good things. Focus on the important things. Focus on the things that are going to bring you back to basics, back to focus, or pardon me, back to balance and back to center. All right? Stop worrying. You've got all the resources here for things to work out in your favor. You can step up into your own power here. Things are going to work out. Just stay in the moment. Well, my beautiful Libras, this is your reading for March 23rd to the 30th. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week to look forward to. And never forget how far you've come. Everything you have gotten through. All the times you have pushed on, even when you felt you couldn't. 
All the mornings you got out of bed no matter how hard it was. All the times you wanted to give up but you got through another day. Never forget how much strength you have learned and developed. And remember, the universe and the divine, your higher power, wants you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I only stand in this circle of love and light for you. Remember, my beautiful Libras, kindness. See you soon, my beautiful Libras.